gon' give it to ya Wait for you to get it on your own X gon' deliver to ya Okay, so You gonna do a superhero landing Wait for it Woo! Superhero landing Yeah, that's really hard on your knees Over time Hollywood cinema has become a synthetic culture producing movies through systematic conventions and strategies. This has led to continued repetition as well as a lack of innovation and creativity. Based on Peter Woolen's article, Godard and Counter Cinema, Hollywood is guilty of committing Godard's seven deadly sins. Narrative transitivity is when the storyline maintains a natural, continuous progression easily followed by the audience. One event leads to another as the protagonist moves through the story's chain of events. Here's an example in the opening scene of The Dark Knight. In comparison, Godard's concept of narrative intransitivity allows for disconnect in the storyline as the audience does not necessarily need to know exactly what is happening at the time. Identification is when the viewer emotionally identifies and attaches oneself to the protagonist or even the antagonist in some cases. Here's an example of identification in Goodwill Hunting. As a matter of fact, I won't because Wood drastically underestimates the impact Wood of social distinctions. Wood drastically underestimates the impact of social distinctions predicated upon wealth, especially inherited wealth. You got that from Vickers. Work in Essex County, page 98, right? Yeah, I read that too. Were you going to plagiarize the whole thing for us? Do you have any thoughts of, of your own on this matter? Godard's concept of estrangement does not allow the viewer to directly relate and connect to the characters present in the film. Transparency is a film's ability to produce a fictional reality for the viewer. Through a seamless flow of images, the film keeps the viewer unaware that they are watching a constructed product. Alternatively, foregrounding is presenting a film as a raw form of media in its entirety. Through marks and scratches, the viewer is aware that they are watching a film in a theater. Single diegesis is the assumption that all events that take place in the film are part of the same world. Flashbacks, as well as scene changes, are included in the same world in order to maintain the viewer's attention. Godard's virtue of multiple diegesis suggests that a film does not need to follow a singular narrative and instead can focus on multiple, unrelated, and unconnected storylines. Closure is a self-contained object defined by a limit and boundary. The film closes promptly at the end of the film. Here's an example in the closing scene of Inglorious Bastards. Aperture is cinema's intention to remain open-ended, prompting the audience to be self-conscious and reflexive in order to explore a given film's intertextuality. Pleasure is when cinema provides the audience an escape entertainment with the purpose of satisfying the viewer. Here's an example of pleasure in Fast and Furious 7. In comparison, unpleasure is the use of cinema to provoke or dissatisfy in hopes of changing the viewer. Often this is done through images, sounds, or entire scenes, which makes the spectator uncomfortable. Fiction is when actors wear makeup and act out a scripted story. The actors take on and play the role of fictional characters. Here's an example of fictionalization in The Wolf of Wall Street. Yes, your boarding passes, too. Thank you. We have boarding passes. Jesus Christ, I want a fucking car. Hey, fucking relax. Oh my God, get your hand on my fucking cock. Get your hand. He's got his hand on my dick again. You got your hand on his dick? You gotta stop doing that. Godard's concept of reality in films presents things for which they actually are. Often, fiction through cinema leads to misrepresentation and illusion, creating false ideologies. In a cinema culture driven by capitalism, Hollywood has mastered the art of satisfying its audience through generic and systematic remediation of Godard's seven deadly sins. While there might be exceptions to this process, the temptation to commit Godard's seven deadly sins 
has ultimately been too much to resist.